Okay, so one thing I always like to change when I get I log into any of my systems is the message of the day. For those of you who don't know what, what that is, it's basically this bit of information here. Um, it's like you know their guarantee or their you know uh, disclaimer, so they can get out of, of any um, you know warranties and that type of thing, which is absolutely fine. However, I would rather have something a lot more interesting. At the top here, the first line is quite useful. It tells me the date, the time of my system. It tells me what kernel version I'm running. I want to keep that, but I want to get rid of all of this information here. So the simplest way we can do this is if we go to the file um, and we use nano to edit it, slash etc, slash message of the day, dot tail. We can go in here and we can edit out all this information. Okay, and then what we can do is we can replace this with whatever we want. I've uh, got here something I prepared earlier. So again, this is my um, clue from Tron, the film I love. Um, I'm just going to copy that, and then if I just right click on there, it will paste that into there. I'm going to save that file if I know look at it <coughs> we have that so I'm going to reboot my machine it's going to pause the video so you guys don't have to wait okay so if I log back in we'll now find that I uh, still got all my system information but I get a much more friendly much more familiar to me uh, message of the day. I've not quite yet found anyone who's done any decent uh, Raspberry Pi ASCII art. I'd quite like to see that if anyone's got it and um, if they can post that that'd be great. Okay so now we've changed our message of the day. It's not really a, a, a Raspberry Pi thing but it's something I like to do. I like to change the colour of the text. So if you're not used to using putty before here's a quick way you can do it. So select your, um, your saved session and click load. Um, then what you can do is you can come down to the color section and then for the default foreground click on modify and then you can choose the color that you want. I had a pre-chosen uh, kind of an orangey color that reminds me of Clue from Tron again. Come back up to session and save and then when you load that we log in There we go, and uh, everything there looks orange, which I think looks pretty cool.